Hello, all my kings and queens. I hope everybody's doing good this Saturday night. I just pray that God heal those who are not doing too well and give them a speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. As always, I got to thank my subscribers. I thank y'all so much for continuing to rock with me. I thank y'all. I genuinely, humbly thank y'all so much. And from the viewers, I thank you guys too. I just ask for you guys to support me by hitting subscribe share, like, and leave a comment. Okay, so with that being said, everybody, I'm going to continue where I left off yesterday. And the reason I'm going to continue with talking about Coco and Lele, because I'm glad that the drama is about to be over. I, I, I got it. It's in my feel. It's in my gut that everything that's going on with Coco and Latrice is about to be over. Everybody know that it kept on going. Things kept on being said. Things was being speaking in codes. And even though there people not saying names, <laughs> common sense. If people watch Latrice, Coco, they know the back and forth. You, you see it, you know, it's speaking in codes, but you know what it is. But like I said, since Coco and Lele is an item now, I truly believe that it might continue just a little bit, but I think it's going to eventually fade away. Because normally when somebody is in a relationship, that female who that new guy is with ain't going to be with all that. Just like I seen today. I don't know if somebody in the comments said something about it or Coco brought it up, but somebody wanted to do a remix of Latrice's song. It's killing you. I know it is. And your girl lately was like, no, I uh -uh, no. But I don't know if she's going to be convinced and do it. I don't know. To each his own. That's her business. If she do, I'm just saying that she, at first she said no. So, like I said, she might get convinced, you know, just like that TikTok video she did. She was saying um, in the beginning, she put it up, she put it down, she put it up, she put it down. And then and she ended up putting it up and it got a lot of views. So, to me, it seemed like her mind, she, she know the right thing that she should do and want to do. You know, when that angel talking and the uh, bad, bad angel is talking, it'd be like, go ahead and do it. And say, no, go ahead and do it. No. And then she went on to do it. So that's why I see with um, your girl. That's why I see with Lele. She had everything she say um, that she want to do first. It's her right intent. And then I don't know if she get encouraged to do something. And then she go along with it. I don't know. But that's what it kind of seemed like when she, when I first seen her on, um, Social media, when Coco introduced her to everybody, it was though as though she don't want to get into none of this drama that's going on. She don't know about the drama. Then eventually, you know, she got introduced and she actually talked to your girl, Latrice, and you know what I'm saying. And then when she had said that, like I said about the TikTok, she was like, mm, no, mm, yeah, mm, no, then she did it. And, you know, and so I just hope that the drama with Coco and Latrice die down. Now that he got his lady, now that he's with Miss Lele, if I was with somebody, I'd be like, no, uh-uh, we ain't finna do that. No, uh-uh, we ain't finna talk to you with me. You know, let her do her thing and let us do our thing. And I know that they are going to pretty much blow up because I look at couple videos and those couple videos be blowing up. I'm telling you, people love to see love. I love to see love. You know, I have no reason not to want to see them win. I have no reason. You know, I don't know Coco personally. I don't know Lele personally. All I know is what I see and what they show and display to everybody to see. It seems like they get along pretty well on here. 
You know, like I said, I can't speak. Just like when Coco was with Trees, I did not speak on their relationship because I don't know what goes on behind the scene, what went on behind the scene. So I always said, well, if I talk about Coco, I talk about him and some stuff that he say about Trees. And I talk about Trees and some things she say about Coco. You know, y'all just chill, let that stuff go and all that little stuff right there. So when it comes to Lele and Coco, I can't speak on things. I cannot see, but from what my eyes see on YouTube, Facebook, whatever the case may be, TikTok, I see them, it's getting along. I don't see no phone and it's in it. What I do see is um, your boy Coco, I think he, he love, he love that this is happening because he's actually feeling Coke, uh, feeling Lele, I feel that they really do feel each other. I can just tell by how they vibe with each other that they really do feel each other. But in the meantime, it seems like Coco is happy that Latrice is going to be seeing them. You know, it just, it just, that's my vibe that I get when I see him because when he do it, he'll look and I know it's, 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 it, 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 I think it's a normal thing, you know, for some people to do, but I can see that and I can see your girl well, she on, she ain't feeling, she can care less who is entertained about, by them. She just, seem like she just happy what in her, the place that she's in. It seems like Lele is just happy to be in her spot where she at right now and hey it is what it is so i'm hoping that people um trying to lift lift them up instead of bring them down you know and, and we just and it's just an adult thing you know who want to see people win you know that's what it's all about wanting to see people win that's it that's what it all should be about you know, I want to see everybody happy. That's my thing. If Latrice happy with the guy that she says she got somebody, if she happy with him, we may not see him because she already said she already said she is not going to put him on social media. He have to have his own. So you know, we may not see who she's with, but you know what I'm saying. When it comes to a couple and on YouTube, and I'm telling you, I look at, um, I can't think of this couple name. They just had a baby. And um, I think they have about three other children. So it's, it's a lot. All I got to say, it's a lot of couples that I do look at and they have families. So, you know, I think it's going to be interesting to see if um, Coco and Lele will have a channel together. You know, do they own thing like the La Truth do? She have her own thing. He have his own channel and they have something um, pretty much together, I guess. But if, if it's not together, she be on his and he be on her YouTube, whatever the case may be. But you guys... You know, some of the comments that I seen yesterday, some of the videos that I seen yesterday regard, regarding Coco and Lele and the things they were saying about Latrice, you know, it's something like her, her karma, this is what she get, and just just being mean. I mean, it was, you know, after I seen all that meanness, you know, I was like, you know what? And I just thought of this scripture. I just thought of a couple of scriptures, y'all. And this scripture is going to be at... Um, Proverbs 24, 17, and 18. And this, and this, uh, because this, I'm reading this scripture, guys, because if you look at some of these videos, and I don't know if y'all look at a lot of the videos that talks about, y'all know who the circle, everybody, if you guys follow Latrice, Coco, Lele, Diamond, she not into it, not in it, but you, I'm not going to speak on her right now because she, I'm not talking about her at this moment, but you, it's a lot of people who have something negative to say about Latrice with what's going on with 
Coco and Lele new relationship. I haven't seen a video that Latrice had put up talking about them yet. I haven't seen it. But from what people saying is that, oh, she going to find her man. Oh, now she fit to get her relationship. Oh, she going to be jealous. Um, this is what she get. This is that karma. Oh, uh, ooh, just a whole bunch of negative stuff. And I'm like... <sighs> I don't know. You know, maybe they see something I don't see. Like I said, I try. I try to see the good in everybody. That's why I look at everybody. I truly do. I have no ill will towards any of these YouTubers. Not at all. But I try to put some positivity in the things that I see. That's that's my aim. That's my goal. That's why, you know, I even though I'm not perfect, it's still... No man is perfect. No pastor, no preacher, no first lady, no mother of the church, no elder, no brother of the church, no sister of the church. No one is perfect. But at the end of the day, people are going to have some positive stuff to say. People are going to quote some stuff from the Bible. You don't have, no one is perfect, but people will quote stuff from the Bible. And that's my thing. I'm not perfect, not by a long shot, but it ain't going to hurt me to read some scriptures to somebody and then your spare time if you want to look at that scripture that I'm I say you can you know so that's what that's my that's what my YouTube is all about for those who don't know for those who just recently following me my YouTube is positivity at the end of the day that's what it is you know sometimes I might be firm stern fair you know you know, I'm just speaking on the things I see and giving my reaction, my opinion. That's all I'm doing. So don't beat me up. Don't give me a, a black eye. I already got puffiness under my eyes, so I don't need no extra somebody coming tag teaming with all these negative comments. OK, don't do that. You know, so like I say, the reason I'm reading in Proverbs 24, 17 through 18 is because after all this good things that happened with um, Coco and Lele making official, people still had something bad to say, something negative to say about Latrice. I, like I said, I didn't see not one video. I don't even think she made a video about this at all. And I don't think she will. I don't even know if she care. You know, but I'm going to get back on that after I read the scripts about I don't know if she care. I'm going to get back on that. So I hope I don't forget it. Let me just write it down just in case my mind sometimes being this, um 1130 p.m. So let me just put that down. Okay, so the reason, like I said, I'm reading Proverbs 24, 17 through 18 is because all the negative videos that I ain't gonna say negative, because they probably the people who doing the video are gonna be like, my video on negative, so I ain't even wanna go there. So with all the things they had to say about Latrice, okay? So I'm not gonna say you guys have a negative video, but all the things that you all said about Latrice and how she might feel with Coco and Lele, newfound love official relationship. Okay, so it says, do not rejoice when your enemy falls and do not let your heart be glad when he stumble. Lust the Lord see it, and it displeased him, and he turned away his wrath from him. Okay, so I'm going to break that down again, guys. And this, like I said, Latrice probably don't feel no way about it. But I'm going to get back to that after I read the scripture again. And this goes, to, and this goes along with if somebody, obviously, a lot of people dislike Latrice. A lot of people strongly dislike Latrice. If you see something happening to a person you dislike, you see them take a loss or failed at something or is injured. This scripture clearly says, do not rejoice when your enemy falls. Don't be happy because Lele and Coco got together and y'all know that it might 
irk uh, Latrice's nerve. Don't rejoice at that. That's it. I mean, don't read the Bible clearly says that. And that's why I seen a lot of people saying yesterday. And even today, really, is today I seen a lot of uh, looking at the videos, reading some of the comments. People seem like they want Latrice to be mad. They want Latrice to be jealous. They want Latrice to feel some type of way. That's why I'm hoping I like I said, I see that Lele is in a happy place and she's happy where she is. I'm just hoping that um Coco is just um, not doing all this to trying to get at Latrice because the reason I say that is because the day after he gave his official, they gave their official kiss, he said, somebody in the comments, uh, he said, I have to look at that video again. Let's do a, a remake of It's Killing You. I know it is. So that's why I'm saying I hope that he's not doing this to antagonize Latrice. That's why I'm saying that. And it's clear. Everybody see the video, you know. But what did your girl do? What did Lele say? Uh-uh. No, uh-uh. That's why I say she don't be with that kind of stuff. She, To me, it seems like she ain't with it. But like I say, she might get convinced. She might, um, somebody might pull her to do it. And if she do do it, it is what it is. I'm not her, she not me, she do what she want to do. But I'm just saying, her first, always, if you look, listen and look at um, Lele, her first intentions is always to do the right thing. And then something will happen and she'll go go and do whatever, the second, the second thought. Her first thought always to do, okay, yeah, this is the right thing. When she had said about that video, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. I put it up, then I took it down. Her mind was saying the right thing. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I see. So, like I said... When Coco or whoever made a comment to do a remix, go ahead and do a, do a remix on It's Killing You, I Know It Is. You cannot, the Bible clearly says that Proverbs 24, 17, 18, do not rejoice when your enemy falls, when your enemy is hurt, when your enemy is taking a loss, when your enemy is feeling some type of way. The Bible said, don't rejoice at that. And so that's what I seen today when they said that about that remixing that song to get it on, on Latrice's nerves. And, and, I, and, and then at the end of the day, Latrice, I don't know when she made that song, I'm killing you. I know it is. I don't, I don't know. I think I know she probably was talking about her ex, but I don't know what part that she says killing him that, the, that they broke up or I don't know. Somebody can put that in the comments why y'all think she wrote that song, I'm killing you, I know it is, to Coco, I tell her ex, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, either way, either way, for whoever it is, whoever received this, even if it's myself, I don't rejoice, it's if anybody fall, I don't care if it's somebody, I, I don't think I dislike too many people, I just try and pray for people at the end of the day, you know, so y'all, don't rejoice, don't rejoice over that, you know, be happy for um, Coco and Lele. Be happy for them now. Because you know, never know where this is going to lead. This probably lead to marriage. This probably lead to Coco having his first child. That's why I say this, if it's going to be a couple um, little thing, hey, you never know. You never know where they are going to end up. You never know. We might be seeing a marriage on here. We might see it, see Coco with his uh, first baby. We never know. But in the meantime, while we rejoicing, they are... Um, life, Coco and Lele new relationship. Yeah, we rejoice in something that's good, but we're not supposed to rejoice at somebody feeling some type of way. Okay? So that's all I'm saying. And that's it. For who I want to know that scripture again is Proverbs 24, 17 and 18. Do not rejoice when your enemy fall and do not let your heart be glad when he stumble. Lest the Lord see it, because the Lord looked down. You know, the Lord's going to see it. It says it right here in the 18th verse. Lest the Lord see it 
and it dis displeased him. It, it will displease the Lord to see that y'all laughing at somebody else's pain. Whether the, um, the truth says she don't feel no type of way, I'm going to get back to that. That's the thing I'm saying I'm going to get back to. But anyway, that displeases the Lord with somebody rejoice over somebody else's pain. And it says, now this is what it says in um, the last part of 18, and he turns away his wrath from him. So when y'all y'all got to realize this, the Lord is our heavenly Father. When something happened to a real father child and you see somebody laughing, the father going to take away that wrath to make that his child feel good again. So when y'all get time, read Proverbs 24, 17 and 18 for yourself. Get, I want you guys to do it. Do it for y'all can see. Read it for yourself so you can say, oh, Kathy, she, she, she thinks she know it all. No, no. It's in the Bible, guys. It's in the Bible. Okay? It's not coming for it's coming out of my mouth, but it's God's word. Okay? So I'm glad I got a chance to read that. So now I want to get on to when I was saying about I don't know if Latrice even care about. Coco and Lele. That's what I said. I'm going to get back on to after I read that scripture. And I'm going to say it like this. Everyone, I believe, the majority, let me say it like this. Saying everyone, that's, that, that's, that's, you should never say everyone because we don't know. But I believe, my opinion, that the majority of people in the world broke up. With somebody, whether it was a male breaking up with a female, a female breaking up a male, or whatever, same sex couple breaking up with somebody, somebody broke up with somebody before. When that person don't have nobody, and it's like, okay, whatever, but when you find out that that person have somebody, even though you don't want to be with them, sometimes it'd be like, you feel a feeling. It's a, it's a feeling. Even though you don't want to be with him, you do have a feeling. Not a feeling of jealousy. It's, a, it's some type of feeling that you have. Just like when me and my boyfriend, not my husband, but just like when me and my boyfriend broke up, it was all good when he didn't have nobody. But when he did have somebody, it was like a feeling you feel. It's not jealous because you don't want him no more, but it is a certain kind of feeling that you do feel. And then you eventually, with time, you will get over it. So, yes, Latrice might feel a certain way, you know, especially if she think that Lele is her cousin. She probably feel a some another type of way because we know how Latrice say about when someone sleep behind her with an ex, if it's a friend. You know what I'm saying? So for that to be her cousin, if that's her cousin, yeah, she's going to feel some type of way. You know, whether your girl say they cousin or not, who knows? You'll never know until the real family come and say, hey, yeah, that's what you call it. Yeah, yeah. Until that happened, you know, you'll never know. Do I need to know? Of course not. Of course, I don't need to know if Latrice and Lele is cousins. You know, the only reason I say that uh, some people would want to know because they probably want to know, wow, did they um, Lele know she was Latrice's cousin and now that she's dating someone who Latrice dated for three months, some people probably want to know for that reason. But at the end of the day, I'm not Latrice. I'm not Lele. I'm not Coco. Hey, they do whatever. Here, it's on here as entertainment. It's here. They doing their thing. It's here for people to do reaction. It's here for people to view. It's here to be watched. You know, and that's what I'm doing. I'm watching. I'm listening. I'm reacting to it. That's it. You know, but like I said, at the end of the day, I have no ill will towards either of them. 
None of the um, YouTubers I have no ill will over. Not one. I look at the channels just like I look at different things on TV. And I'm doing a reaction on it. Okay, so with that being said, everybody, thumbs up to Layla and Coco. I pray to God that people leave Latrice alone about it. You're not supposed to be rejoicing over somebody feeling some type of way. Y'all seen it in the Bible. Live and let live. You know, if you do content, you don't have to be negative. What's my content negative? Anybody? This con this content that I just gave, did anybody hear anything negative? No. You don't have to do a negative reaction. You don't have to. Because at the end of the day, everybody I talked about, they on YouTube, Facebook. They put, put it out there. And some people say, just because they, they put it out there. So, yeah, you can talk any kind of way you want. Hey, teach us on. If that's what you guys want, how they want that channel to be, fine. Mine, I want it my reaction and i want mine to be positive so with that being said everybody i love you guys thank you so much for your support um definitely leave a comment i cannot um i cannot reply to everything y'all just know i cannot reply to all of your comments but i thank you guys for taking your time out to leave a comment so in the meantime while you leaving that comment or uh, while you getting ready to click off hit share and like and with that being said everybody i love you guys so much i truly do have a wonderful um night enjoy your morning i'm just going to get up take this little thing off here and I am going to do my BBB exercise, okay? I'm going to do it and I'm going to upload that video and that should be up by tomorrow. Alright, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mwah.